Hi everybody, it's Robin here and I just wanted to welcome you to my kitchen. I'm just gonna start making some chicken fajitas and I thought I would uh, share with you how we do them with Epicure's Good Mexican Real Fast Meal Kit. What I love about this meal kit is that it's one of the things that comes in our, our new consultant kit. It is that popular that every consultant needs to have it right to get started with. Um, it also is one of the, our host's favorite items and you're going to find out why as we get going here with this. But the thing that I love too is that you can get it either just with the food items or you can include the big steamer, our multi-purpose steamer, which is fantastic for so many things. And this is uh, even on its own one of our host's favorite items, so you'll want to be sure to uh, check this out. Um, before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you've got a pen and paper handy so that you can keep track of all the items that you're looking at uh, as I prepare things and takes notes of things uh, to make sure that you add it to your wish list. Um, and without further ado, we're going to get started and get cooking. So first we're going to, uh, I'm just going to show you here, I've got my chicken pre-sliced. Uh, it's just a chicken breast sliced up into small pieces and we're going to make our chicken fajitas with that in our multi-purpose steamer and that's going to go in the microwave which is the best part about all of this is it's done super super fast so in here i've got a chicken breast all cut up for you from this aside and then i'm going to add using our prep pro chef knife this is a super super sharp ceramic blade um, it is sharper than steel but not stronger than steel so you want to make sure that when you're using it you're just really careful with your fingers but also that you're only using it with soft foods uh, you don't want to be trying to open up cans or cut through frozen chicken it'll snap it um, but really really nice and sharp and cuts like a dream so i'm going to add this onion to our chicken and yes i'm adding it all right in here it's a one pot meal so we'll add that in there and then I'm gonna add a red bell pepper. You can use any kind of bell pepper that you like. Uh, I just like red because I like the color of it with our meal. Just slice it. You see how that knife just slices through here? This is another really great and popular host item too. You can pick one of those up for free or half price even. So just slice that up. Okay. Just does such a nice job getting everything sliced and you can also use something like the a mandolin slicer if you prefer I just I've always been a nice person myself we've got a really great mandolin slicer though that will allow you to make julienne or you can um, do some thinner slices as well so all that's in there next I'm gonna add a little squeeze of lime juice so I've got my fresh lime here. Another handy tool that also comes in our business kit is our two-in-one um, citrus press. So you can do your lemons in that side. And then for the green, you'll use your limes. You can also use like small oranges in this too. Pop your lime in here with the fleshy side facing down. And then just give that a squeeze. And then just check out all that juice. I don't know if you can see that very well, but check out all the juice that comes out of that. Just great. You can see it uses up every last little drop. It's fantastic. So we'll use that, and then I'm gonna add Epicure's fajita seasoning. And I'm gonna add to this about a tablespoon, depending on how spicy you like your fajitas, you can add more or less to this. I choose to do, for me, just about a tablespoon works well. And then I'm just gonna give that a quick stir to make sure that that's all covered in there. And then this is gonna go in my microwave. Now, microwave cooking, you're gonna vary the cooking times depending on the wattage of your microwave. So in my microwave, this is gonna go in for about seven minutes. Um, some microwaves, my old microwave used to do it in five. Uh, and if you've got a super, super powerful one, you might even be able to do it in four. But I wouldn't, I would start at the five minute mark and then see where you go from there with, once you have your own. So once that's all covered, I'm gonna add my lid on here and pop that in the microwave here for seven minutes. All right, now that we've got that in the oven, the next thing I'm going to start on is our salsa. So Epicure Salsa is another really popular item. It's one of the blends that people just seem to can't get enough of. Comes really easily in this jar, and then I'm just gonna add to it, or add this rather, to a cup of diced tomatoes. Uh, now in the summertime when you can get fresh tomatoes from your garden, absolutely you can use that. In the wintertime when they're a little bit harder to find, I tend to just go towards a can of diced tomatoes. 
Um, and look at that, we've got a brand new jar today. So this is Epicure's Poco Picante Salsa Mix. Now Poco Picante, <laughs> Poco Picante is a little bit spicy. It's a medium blend. Uh, so with this, you're gonna want to adjust that to your family's uh, or your personal tastes as far as how much spice you can handle. My family can't handle a whole lot of spice, so I tend to add only two teaspoons to a cup. Uh, some people would add a full tablespoon and find that's just perfect for them, but it does pack a little bit of heat. So just beware when you're using that. And to that, I'm also gonna add some more lime juice. The key to any good Mexican meal is limes. We're gonna add that in here. Alrighty. And then we'll give that a stir. Yet again. Now, if you're watching me and you're thinking that Mexican's really not your style of cooking, don't forget too, Epicure has a lot of other flavors. We've got some other meal kits too, like the Asian meal kit, or um, our Greek meal kit. And if those are more up your alley, make sure that you connect and we can do a cooking class with you and your friends uh, to showcase some of those meals too, or any others that you see in the catalog. We are always happy to be able to customize our recipes to suit your needs and what your friends would enjoy. So that is our salsa, all done. Nice and easy, right? Okay, the last thing that we're gonna do with this one is our guacamole. I never used to like guacamole. I was one of those that always used to find it a little bit slimy and I never really liked it until I tried Epicure's. And I just love it. So again, really, really easy, very few ingredients. You're just gonna cut your avocados. And in Canada, sometimes it's, as you know, probably if you've ever tried to buy an avocado, it can be challenging to find a fresh avocado that is not brown or that's perfectly ripened or close to being ripened. Oftentimes you find them in the grocery store and they're either rock hard or they've gone bad. They're overripe. This one today, we happen to be lucky and I found some good ones. Um, but I also have a little trick up my sleeve if it doesn't work out for when I'm wanting them and that I will freeze avocados um, or make up my guacamole when I have a batch. Like if I go to Costco and I grab a bag of them, once they ripen, I will actually make up my guacamole and freeze it. So avocados freeze beautifully. Uh, and I'll freeze it and then pop it out when I'm ready to have it that night. I just pop it out a few hours ahead of time so that they'll thaw out. So just a little trick for you. So I'm gonna take two avocados and I'm gonna add that. See, this one's not as nice, but it'll still work. Get those pits out of there. And I just like to dice them right in the skin makes it really nice and easy. And I say mess free, but I'm already covered in avocado, so <laughs> that's not true. We'll get that in there. And I'm making a real mess of this one. But anyways, you get the point. Get that in. And then to this, we're gonna add more lime juice and we're gonna add Epicure's uh, guacamole seasoning. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of guacamole seasoning to that. The guacamole seasoning is also really, really great inside of a, um, in your eggs. Um, it's a really nice seasoning for that or in your pasta sauces, it's got a really nice flavor. So avocado, nicely done in your bowl. Here's guacamole seasoning. And then I'm gonna add, like I said, two tablespoons to my avocados. And then I'm gonna add some more lime juice. Cause like I said, the key to any good Mexican meal is your lime juice. So you can already see how easy it is to build a meal with Epicure, right? And just think of the family and friends that you might have that could use some easy meals in the kitchen, right? Like everybody can cook, everybody needs to cook and everybody can benefit from a little bit of extra help sometimes. So. Just be thinking of some of those family and friends that you know that might need a little bit of extra inspiration or maybe they're needing to be gluten-free or sodium conscious. Epicure is great for those types of people and we can reward you with some free products for hosting a class with your friends. Okay, so now we've got our seasoning in there and we've got our lime juice in there and our avocados. I'm gonna take our little meat um, separator here. This is also a really great masher for avocados and making guacamole. And I'm using Epicure's four cup prep bowl here, which does the job beautifully as far as giving us a nice size bowl to work with. Okay. 
And if you like your avocados to be a little bit creamier, you can always take like a mixer to this or an immersion blender and really get it nice and creamy. Uh, the other thing you can add to it to give it that extra hint of creaminess is a little bit of uh, sour cream. Makes a really nice creamy guacamole. And with the, for whatever reason, when you're adding fresh lime juice and you're adding a little bit of that sour cream in there, it's not gonna brown the same way some of the other fresh guacamole does. So there we go, we've got some fresh guacamole to enjoy there and add to our meal. So that's how easy it is with Epic Your How's your list coming along? We've got our, our knife, we've got our awesome citrus press, we've got the steamer, we've got the cutting board here, our awesome, um, double-sided cutting board that's got these amazing little sil um, silicone feet on here that will flip over so you can use two sides to it and it doesn't move when it's on your countertop. We've seen our four-in-one spice spoon. So that's another thing to add to your list, your tablespoon, your teaspoon, your half teaspoon, your quarter teaspoon. So your lists are getting a little bit long. Not to mention, we also have the Mexican meal items that we've used, the poco picante and the fajita seasoning and the guacamole mix. So you can get a pretty good list going, right? And we're just gonna get our chicken. It's just about ready here. Okay. So you can see that when I release this, we're gonna have quite a bit of steam coming out. And this chicken is cooked to perfection. You can just see it's nice and juicy and moist and delicious and makes an amazing meal. You can, if you're not like a big on wraps, you can also use, like put this on quinoa with some of your, your favorite toppings. But we're just gonna make a little wrap here. I'll get my plate out with my wrap. I'm gonna add some of this delicious veggies and chicken. And then I'm gonna get my salsa here, put that in there, and then finally, we'll put that guacamole in there. And you could add some cheese or lettuce or whatever other toppings you enjoy, um, but here is your amazing fajita made in, you know, my house seven minutes and your house maybe five, who knows, right? Depends on your wattage of your microwave. But with those lists, have they gotten so long that you're thinking that they're a little bit too long, can't want to spend it all at once? Consider hosting a cooking class. It's a great way to get those items for free or half price. Uh, and the other part of it is if they're even longer than you want, there's always the consultant price to think about too. So we can chat about that if that's of interest to you. That's it for our demo today, everyone. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch with me and learn a little bit about how to make a great Mexican meal at home. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Bye, everybody.